Hello and welcome to the 10th tutorial on God of War. We're playing, of course, Give Me God of War difficulty. Again, we are fighting the humans now. We kind of came in here and then some humans said they wanted to eat our flesh. As you can see, they die very easy. I'm almost certain they don't level up. Uh, be careful because they can mob you and if they do mob you, they will kill you. So it is a very easy fight. Uh, nothing really to worry about. And then after that, you're going to get three projectiles. One comes there, one comes to the right. And then one after that, as soon as you kill one, the next one spawns, and this one comes behind that little uh, rock wall there. And once you do that, it's going to go to a cutscene where the boy does something. Don't obviously want to spoil too much. I know if you're watching it, I'm sure you've got to this point before. But also, now you're going to be fighting them undead. So now that they're undead, remember, you do not want to use anything but your bare fist. As you can see there, the shield bash actually stops them leveling up. You can see that guy was turning blue. He was about to level to level two and he didn't manage to because of the shield bash I got on one of his friends actually. So very, very useful for you to be using that L1, timing it, getting those shield bashes in properly. Uh, you do not have the boy at this point. I think he is too busy thinking about what he just did. Um, so you have to deal with this all on your own. Just be careful of people behind you uh, and make sure you're just punching the crap out of them until R3 appears until you can smash them into the ground. Uh, it's a fairly easy fight but there are three of them so you can get swamped again. Just be careful that you're not getting uh, too, many of, of, too many of them on you at the same time. Try to like separate them just like I've done here. Punch one away and keep it in R1 until they're dead. L1, of course, shields there. Oh, he's gonna transform. Does he get it? Even if he transforms, doesn't matter uh, because his stamina is so high, we're gonna knock him out right here anyway. Okay, we just wait for this to finish. Oosh, oosh, oosh. <laughs> Have it, oosh, perfect. All right, cool. Now once this fight is finished, uh, very simple, we call them the question mark, question mark, question mark blue guys because we don't actually have a name for them. Uh, of course the boy is dealing with some psychological trauma right now. You have to uh, deal with it just a minute, in a minute as he's going to drop down that chain. It's a very nice bit of storyline, I think it's very well implemented and it doesn't feel forced whatsoever. Like most of the uh, different interactions that uh, Kratos and the boy has, they don't feel forced whatsoever. Okay, so this is the next fight. This fight is just after you've met Brock. You've leveled up your axe, and now this is where I put in my first skills. My first two skills are shield bash, and uh, block break, sorry, and countering strike, and also permafrost. That is all my experience basically used. I have like nothing left, but I do use all three of those. If you want to do the same tactic as I use completely, uh, you will use the same skill points as I do. You'll see me using that countering strike, that shield bash in a second. Here we go. Boom, straight away. Straight in with that, and I use that permafrost because it's so useful when you're attacking things over and over again. Okay, so the, the idea here is you're gonna have this one heavy Draugr, and you're gonna have behind you, you can see the red flashing arrows, you actually have uh, two or three, I don't remember exactly, uh, Draugr projectiles. Now, why you run him over here? You run him to the left or the right, depending if you're talking about Kratos is where he's looking. You run him to the right of where Kratos is facing, uh, to the left of the actual uh, shop where Brock is and just here you have a nice little alcove where you can pull that heavy in and you can kill the heavy uh, before these little ones have a chance to even shoot at you. He did get one shot off on me from behind, it's because I didn't finish him quite fast enough. I did miss one or two blocks there, so it's not good enough. If you need HP, of course run around, find it. If you've killed the heavy Draugr, you should have a little bit of HP from him anyway. Uh, then all you have to do is just finish off the rest of the projectiles. Okay, not too bad, very easy. I, as you know, I call them fire throwers. As you can see, I'm hitting this guy towards the edge. I'm using another tactic, as you know, I've seen it in other videos that I've done, where I like to hit them off the edge. There you go, he was gonna transform to level two, but no chance now. He is a goner. Okay, uh, I always time those rolls right with these projectiles. As you can see, I'm very low HP, but I have managed to do it. As you can see, I'm hitting these guys towards the edge. If you can do it a little bit better than me, uh, don't get caught on some of the scenery. I'm sure you can. You can pull this off a lot easier and not have such low health by the end of that fight. But that is the fight at the end of where you just met Brock. He basically levels up your axe uh, and he goes, why don't you go test it out? And then he just, just demons appear in front of his shop. Like he is a magic caster for demons. Like he has control of them. But yeah, there's a right, nice little bit of dialogue in there, uh, which, I pro which you probably saw where Kratos is like, yeah, it's adequate, it's not bad. And he's like, what do you mean adequate? Okay, this next fight, 
you're in a room with loads of spikes that come down from the roof. Now what you want to do is you want to drop down the spikes to the lowest point where Kratos can still jump over there, because now look, you pull the axe out and bang, two Draga projectiles dead in half a second. So you hit this uh, lever, you spin it round, and you do this five times by the way, there's five different fights in here, and you wait till those spikes show at the bottom and you know it's low enough, right? So there's one behind us, he's now dead. You see we're shooting at us? I just pulled the axe out, now he's dead without without even having to hit him. He just went down, so it's easy. Now you have this one Draga to deal with over here. So first fight you have two, I believe, projectile Dragas. If you want to fight them, you can put the thing all the way up, but I suggest, hence being the tutorial video, that you uh, uh, put the spikes on their lowest point where Kratos can still jump across to start the actual combat animation. Uh, and then uh, jump back across the bridge straight away, press triangle, bring your axe back into your hand, and then watch them get crushed. Very, very easy fight here, okay? As we see, I'm doing it again. Very, very simple now. You just go to as low as you can. I think I go, yeah, this is the one where I go too low. I can actually jump across, I put the spikes too low. So you can do that, so you need to try and time it right. You don't want to be too high either, because they will jump across this bridge, and then you'll be fighting them here anyway. So you want to make sure you get the timing right on this part. And it's roughly that. Ding! You see the spikes at the bottom, they're just appearing. It's perfect timing. I believe this one, there isn't actually anyone over here. So on your fourth time, you can actually just use it. Uh, you don't even have to do it, just just put it as high as you want, because look, there's just one Draga over there. One projectile Draga just firing at me now. I'm just waiting for my timing to come out here. I probably should have left the axe in. I probably should have punched this guy to death, but I do pick out the axe, I remember, uh, and I do hit him with the axe. So, I mean, you can do that however you want, but I could have left it and saved myself a bit of time. As you can see, my timing on these dodge rolls is absolutely awful <laughs> against these... Uh, projectile dragas. I need to work on that as something that I really need to get down for the later stages because it's going to get me killed a hell of a lot. Okay, so the last time, this is probably the most important time you have to do it uh, because you're going to get a heavy draga and you're going to get a projectile over here. Now, of course, that's going to be very hard to kill. There's the heavy and the projectile comes right behind him. So you just want to drop that down and there they go. I mean, it's simple when you know how, but if you left it up there and you were trying to fight them the whole time, it could have been so, so difficult. By the way, there's a secret on top of this thing just as you get over the other side, so do not miss that. I missed that on my first playthrough. Uh, there is a secret chest up there. But anyway, thanks for watching. SMCP out.